is the difference between sympathy and empathy? Keep watching, because I'm going to tell you. Okay, guys. We need to talk. There is this huge miscommunication in the world that sympathy and empathy are the same things. However, this is very, very untrue. Look, I know they both have a pathy at the end, even an empathy, and they sound quite similar. However, they are very, very different, my friends. Let me illustrate this to you with some scenarios just so that you can really see the difference. Sympathy, you poor thing. I can't even begin to imagine what your situation must be. Good luck with it. You're in my heart, you're in my thoughts. I am going to look at you with sorrowful eyes. I am going to pat you on the head. I care about you. I want you to be happy, having a good time in life like other people, possibly myself. But right now I see that things are hard for you. I feel I feel sorry for you. I hope things improve at some point for you. That's sympathy, okay? It is given from a heartfelt place. People who give sympathy are not bad people. They're not trying to make you feel worse about the situation. God knows that's the last thing they're trying to make you feel. They're trying to make you feel better, like they care about you, like they're sensitive towards you, like they will be there to help you. They'll go and buy you a bag of chocolate or something. They're sweet, good-natured people, the sympatharians. Sympatharians is not a word, by the way. I have just come up with it on the spot, but feel free to use it as long as you quote my name. In fact, in my personal life, sympathy shows up quite often. As many of you may know through watching my channel for a while, I am registered blind. Oh, you poor thing. It must be so hard for you. I can't imagine what life must be like for you. It's all a little bit patronising, like you're kind of inferior slightly to me, and I'm sort of looking at you from a position of power and strength and I'm having to look after you and nurture you because I am up here and you are slightly below. I hope you come up here at some point but you are not up here, you are not on my level at the moment. Being felt sorry for or feeling sorry for oneself is not an attractive sexy thing is it? It doesn't grow your confidence to be felt sorry for. Empathy on the other hand, empathy is this. I can see that you are going through a really hard time and I am going to do everything in my power to understand what that is like. I may never have experienced what you're going through or anything similar to it, but I'm going to use the limited amount of experience that I do have from my own life and try to understand how you must be feeling. Often emotions are our friend when it comes to empathy. We know how particular emotions feel. We know they must be feeling really sad, hurt or betrayed or whatever it is. We know those feelings. We can relate to those feelings. Empathy is, I'm gonna sit with you for as long as it takes you to feel that I feel you. I get you. I'm not just gonna give you a biscuit and leave and just say good luck with that. I am gonna be here with you. I'm gonna be holding your hand at every part of this journey. I'm gonna see things through your eyes. I'm gonna walk in your shoes. I'm not saying you should say, oh, I know what it's like to be you when you've never experienced it. But you know what it's like to experience the kinds of emotions that somebody is experiencing because emotions are universal. We've all been through hard stuff. We shouldn't be comparing whose hard stuff is worse than somebody else's hard stuff. It's all just difficult and messy and emotional. But that's great because it's the emotion that provides us with the empathy that we need to support and communicate better with these people. Brené Brown, who is an incredible researcher, has done a TED talk and she's looked a lot into vulnerability and lots of other human aspects of how we communicate with one another. She is absolutely incredible and I really encourage you to go and check her out. But she gives the difference between sympathy and empathy as in sympathy is if somebody is stuck down a deep dark hole, sympathy would be somebody else coming along, looking down the hole and saying, 
oh, it looks really nasty down there and really dark and really scary and it must be horrible. I'm so glad I'm not down there. Empathy is, I'm coming down that hole with you. I'm gonna sit with you and we're gonna talk about this together. And I don't know the way out of this hole. I have no knowledge. I don't know the answers, but that's okay because you know what? Me and you, we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna figure it out together. Sympathy, as I say, it comes from a very caring place and it definitely shows that you're sensitive and that you want to help somebody in need. Empathy, however, I would argue, is the thing that we really need to be expressing and probably the thing that the person that we're trying to help wants us to express more than sympathy. Because it's not that we're feeling sorry for them, it's that we are right there with them, beside them. It is creating this amazing human bond and this connection. People in difficult situations want you to understand them. They want to be heard. They want to have communion with somebody that gets them because as humans, a fundamental part of our psychology is the need to be understood and communicate with others. Give them the power that you have to listen and the knowledge that you've gained through your own emotional experiences in order to empathize and understand them. It is a messy subject and as with anything in this area, there are some blurred lines between the two, of course there are, but give this video a thumbs up if you agree that empathy is probably the best way to go when there's a bad situation that you're trying to help somebody out with. Tell me in the comments, do you agree? Do you think there's a place for sympathy? Do you think that empathy and sympathy can go hand in hand together? What are your thoughts on the topic? As always, I'm fascinated to know this is a conversation between two halves and I need to know your half of the story, so please do get in touch. As always, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will be back before you know it. See ya! Have you ever wondered what... <laughs> Hi everyone, today we are going to... Oh my god, this is terrible.